Hogwarts Legacy is looking very promising, and recently we even got a lot of big news. We received some updates on system requirements on all platforms, and some new characters including different professors, some may be allies, and other potential antagonists, and a lot more that we will be going over today, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video. Now, it's best to prepare a few things in advance before the release to ensure you have a smooth and hassle-free start before playing the game. So here are 5 things you need to do before the release of Hogwarts Legacy. First up is to check the edition you got or getting. It's important to know what edition of Hogwarts Legacy you are going to buy as they all come with different features in each one. Some features may only be available in certain editions, so it's essential to make sure you are getting the edition that has the features that you want. Additionally, some editions may have exclusive content, such as bonus items or exclusive in-game items. Starting with the base edition, the standard edition will be available on all platforms, including last-gen consoles, current-gen consoles, and PC. All base editions will get the base game and a few other things depending on the platform you are using or if you pre-order, which I'll explain in a bit. Next up, the Deluxe Edition comes with a full game, as well as a physical Thestral Mount, a Dark Arts Cosmetic Pack, and 72 hours of early access. The Digital Deluxe Edition includes the same items, plus a Dark Arts Garrison Hat Cosmetic, which is only available on the digital version. Additionally, the Digital Deluxe Edition includes a cross-gen upgrade, allowing players to get the game on both current and last-gen consoles. If you can get your hands on the Collector's Edition, it includes everything in the Deluxe Edition, a steel case, a Collector's Edition box, the Kelpie robe, and a floating wand display piece. The Collector's Edition is available on all platforms and on PC, and of course, it includes a digital code for the game inside. It's worth noting that pre-ordering any edition of the game will grant players the Onyx Hippogriff mount, and that all of these bonuses can only be obtained by pre-ordering and cannot be earned in-game as confirmed by the game's developer. If you have a PlayStation, you get access to an exclusive quest called the Haunted Hogsmeade Shop. Additionally, pre-ordering any edition on PlayStation will give you access to the same quest and also the recipe for the Felix Felicius potion. If you're finding the video helpful so far, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Hogwarts Legacy and other open world game content. Alright, next up is to link your Wizarding World fan club and WB Games account for exclusive in-game bonuses. It is also quite beneficial to have set these accounts up and connected to your game as it can give players access to exclusive in-game content for Hogwarts Legacy. Linking them will give players the exclusive House Fanatic School robes, this cool Beak Skull mask, plus a digital wallpaper for free thanks to WB and Avalanche software. Additionally, the Harry Potter's fan club account allows players to take the official sorting hat quiz and get sorted into their Hogwarts house. You can also take a wand quiz and receive the official wand and discover their corporal Patronus by taking the official Patronus quiz. Then, you can carry over your official house and wand to your Hogwarts legacy character. That is awesome. But if you're not a fan of your Wizarding World chosen house and wand though, that is okay. Players have the option to use the chosen house and wand given to them in game if they're not a fan of their official Hogwarts house and wand from their Harry Potter fan club sub account. This means the players have the flexibility to choose the house and wand that they prefer, rather than being restricted to their official ones. This feature allows players to fully customize their in-game experience and tailor it to their preferences, rather than being limited by their official Wizarding World choices. However, it's not clear if the Hogwarts Patronus can be transferred to the game or if the spell will be usable in the game. Next up is to plan out your first playthrough. It's never too early to start planning on your gameplay. Decide on the appearance of your character, pick a name, and think about the difficulty level you want to play on. These decisions can be made at the beginning of the game and by deciding ahead of time, you can jump right into action and start exploring the magical world of Hogwarts Legacy. For example, players can decide on the appearance of their character by using the Character Creator feature. This feature allows players to customize various aspects of their character's appearance, such as their hair, skin tone, and facial features. This allows players to create a character that they feel truly represents them and make the game more personal. Additionally, players can also decide on the name of their character, which will be used throughout the game. This allows players to feel more connected to their character and fully immerse themselves into the game world. What is your character's name going to be? Let me know in the comments below. 
players can also decide on the difficulty level that they will play on. The game offers different difficulty options such as story mode, which focuses on story with minimal gameplay challenges. There's also easy mode, which gives you a light gameplay challenge. There's also normal mode, a more balanced gameplay challenge, and hard mode, a demanding gameplay challenge. This allows players to choose a difficulty level that best suits their skill level and playstyle, making the game more enjoyable and challenging. You then have to plan out which characters you should engage with the most. You should think about the different characters you will be interacting with in the game. For example, which professors you should consider interacting with a lot. Each professor is teaching a different course, and so focusing on the ones that will help build your dream character's skills and abilities would make for a stronger skill set for your character. One character who you should be wary of interacting with, or even the opposite, depending on what kind of playthrough you are going for, is Phineas Nigelius Black, voiced by actor Simon Pegg. From a recent video reveal, we can see why Phineas Nigelius Black is noted as the least popular headmaster Hogwarts has ever had. He seems to have a disdain for students, and his attitude is condescending and unjustifiably superior. His goal seems to be to do the least amount of work as possible and avoid exposure to the student body, preferring to focus on his status in the wizarding world and his surgically manicured beard. He was the last Slytherin headmaster before Professor Snape took over, so we'll be experiencing Slytherin rule in the game, which is quite interesting. Apart from being the most disengaged headmaster in Hogwarts history, what can we actually expect from him as a character in the game? In the video showcase, Simon Pegg says that he will be a hindrance and is entirely there to scupper the efforts of the player. He also sums up Phineas Nigelius Black by saying he thinks what the students and player will get from him is to not be like him. So it seems like players should avoid the headmaster at all costs unless of course you have a different playthrough in mind. Another professor that was officially revealed as well was Professor Matilda Weasley, played by Leslie Nicole as the deputy headmistress who is also the transfiguration professor. She has been tasked with getting the player up to speed in their studies and introduces them to their wizard's field guide and the room of requirement, both of which are invaluable resources. Next, we have a member of the Ministry of Magic, George Osric, who was enlisted to help solve a decipherable puzzle. He also needs the player's help in solving it as well, so he will play an important role in the puzzling aspect of Hogwarts Legacy. We also have Satyavati Shah, played by Som Kapila, who is the Professor of Astronomy. Then finally, we have Professor Onai, played by Candace Kane, who is rumored to be teaching divination. It's important to know these professors and what they teach so you know which one you should be interacting with. Finally, and this is very important, before any of this, you gotta make sure that your system can actually run the game. If you're planning on playing the game on a PC or laptop, it's important to review the system requirements for the game. These specifications will give you an understanding of the necessary hardware and if any upgrades are needed before the game's release. The official Hogwarts Legacy Twitter recently released the final recommended PC requirements, which I am showing you right now and can also be found in the links below. On the first screenshot is the minimum or low specs and the recommended high specs. On the second screenshot are the ultra specs and the ultra 4k specs. It's worth checking them out to make sure your computer can run Hogwarts Legacy in whatever specification that you're gonna set it in. It's also important to ensure that you have enough storage space on your chosen platform before purchasing and downloading the game. This is particularly important if you plan on getting the digital or digital deluxe version of the game. The game files is 85 gigabytes according to Steam and can take up a significant amount of space on your hard drive and you don't want to run out of room in the middle of downloading or installing it. For the console version, it's also important that the game is optimized for the different graphic modes. The PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or S console versions of Hogwarts Legacy support multiple graphical modes of play, the most common of which are Fidelity Mode which runs at 30 FPS and Performance Mode which targets 60 FPS. What's the first thing you're doing when you start playing Hogwarts Legacy? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Hogwarts Legacy and other open world game content. Hogwarts Legacy has had several big reveals in the past few weeks to make us all excited about the game. Here's a video about 7 huge Hogwarts Legacy reveals that you need to know before it releases. This was Kale, and I'll see you in the next video.